What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by PhotoWorks and we're taking a look at how to adjust your landscapes and your portrait photos to look absolutely stunning. Now as you guys can see, I have this cool image right here and it looks alright, it's already pretty cool, it's Instagram worthy, but it's not perfect just yet. We now have a variety of tools to go and mess around with this, everything from enhancing the image, there are tools in here from changing the background, retouching the image, and of course the face of the portrait, and then there are also various effects and we can even throw on a caption on there if we're feeling it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and slightly tweak some things. So just like any editing application, we now have main, our colors, and our sharpness. That yellow really stands out to the point where that yellow is the center of focus, kind of, and not her face. We don't really want that, so I'm going to decrease that just slightly and to give it this type of look that actually looks a little bit nicer. Next off, I'm going to go ahead and tweak the vibrance just a bit. And right now, I'm a bit worried because this image doesn't look the color scheme that I want. So what you could actually do is go into tone mapping and you can change the overall feel of the particular image to make it just a bit more cold. And her face kind of resonates a more cold vibe. This looks so much better. I'm actually gonna hit apply on that. And there you go, just like that, we tweak the entire image. Now there's also LUTs, so you can go ahead and really change this up and make it cold or warm or different vibes. And it will go and add particular effects to all of these. Uh, this looks pretty interesting. These are interesting effects that will instantly make your image just a bit more Instagram worthy. At any point, you could hit this little eye and see what the before and after looks like. And I think the after looks so much better. So I'm going to hit apply on this one. Now, we want to work with this face over here. Already pretty good looking, right? So we're going to go and retouch this just a bit. Now, portrait magic will do everything for you. These are basically LUTs, but for faces. So if you want her face to not look well let's see it looks fine already but if you want it to look perfect like movie perfect then you can simply hit glamorous portrait and just like that now the image looks like that and she's a lot more softer and so on now you can give her a light tan here there's smoother skin uh the smoother skin actually looks a lot nicer i'm a fan of this so i'm actually going to stick with this but you guys can play around with it on your own now, the most weird thing that you can find, but also really insane and epic, is that you can go and sculpt onto the face, and you can change really, really interesting things. For example, you can change the eye size. If you want her to have just eyes that are a little bit bigger, as that is deemed just a bit more attractive, you can go and do that, and you can make it look really ridiculous, or you can make it look really unusual. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and see what looks actually realistic. Um, it gets to a point where it's a little creepy, but I'm gonna, this looks fine. I don't think that's too big a difference. So we're just gonna hit that. You can also change the face width. So if you want her to look like that, you can, <laughs> but most people would probably go and do that. Next off, we're gonna go and tweak the nose width. It's amazing how this software is able to just know that that is a nose on this particular image. And if you want her nose to be a little bit smaller, literally we are completely re <laughs> redoing this particular person's face. But in some cases, in many cases actually, this is necessary to get a particular image for a particular business or something of those sorts. Then you can also change the nose height. So we could bring it up a little bit, bring it down. Uh, let's bring it up just a bit. And once again, to see the changes, Look at that difference. It looks completely different. Absurd. This is what's possible nowadays in two minutes worth of work. Now we could go ahead and make the mouth a bit bigger. Uh, last but not least, eyebrows. You can make them really bushy, not suggested. Or you can go ahead and make them really thin and sharp, very suggested. And you can change the height a little bit so she's looking up. But now it's getting to the point where this is looking kind of creepy. So you know what? I'm actually going to go and just not mess with that at all. And this looks perfectly fine. I'm going to hit apply. And obviously this is a bit over the top, but it goes to show what you can do. If you want to fix small blemishes instead of completely rearrange someone's nose, you can go ahead and do so using the healing blush brush. And this is pretty straightforward. Simply tap where you need and it will go and tweak that particular area. You can also get rid of red eye. There's also clone stamps. So you can go and get rid of maybe that TV in the background if it's bothering you or maybe an object that's on the table, so on and so forth. Now here's another favorite feature when it comes to faces. So of course, we're going to go ahead and try to pick the center of the face here. I'm going to go and try to make an oval around her face. Now here's what's going to happen. This is going to tweak every single thing on the inside or the outside. So if you want to feather her face up just a little bit and make it just a little bit softer, you can go ahead and do so if you want her face to change colors. Oh my god, don't want to do that. Reset all, simple button over here. But we can go ahead and create another one really quick. 
And afterwards, yes, you can adjust this, so I'm going to make that just a little bit taller, put it over here. And next off, you can tweak the shadows on the outside as well, and then you can go ahead and tweak her face. Maybe you want it to match her hands just a bit more, and maybe you want the blacks to be, her shadows to be just a little bit stronger. I don't know if that looks great exactly, but that is an option. So this is our final image. Obviously, we did some serious adjusting, but sometimes you got to do it. And this is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. How insane is that? Now, this image was already a good-looking image. We just made it look insane. So we're going to do this one more time now, except this time we're going to go ahead and use a landscape. So here's an image of Block Island, and we're going to go and tweak it. This time we're not really going to mess with the retouch. We're going to mess with effects. And as you can see, just messing with these effects quickly can give this image a completely different vibe. Everything from retro to just upping the sharpness to such an extreme. This one actually looks makes it look fairly accurate. I'm a fan of this one. Now we're going to go and back into this right here, and I'm going to hit the color correction, and then maybe we'll tweak one more. This looks really nice. I like that vibe. Now we're going to go ahead and mess around with the enhancement. Now there's auto correction here, and uh, that doesn't look nice at all. So we're going to go, it's hard with auto correction when you're dealing with landscapes and you already threw a bunch of filters on there. So we're only going to do slight adjustments and this, anything that doesn't make it look too, too unusual. I want to up the sharpness just a little bit just to make everyone out just a little bit better. And next off, we're going to go and mess with the clarity just a little bit as well. I'm probably going to tone up the exposure just a notch, make this give it a postcard feel, lower up the contrast that automatically looks so much nicer. And last but not least, highlights, we want to bring out some of those clouds and maybe crush some of the blacks um, because we don't want the f the the cliffs to be the center of focus. So there you go, guys. Really, really quick. Last but not least, add a caption on here. We're simply going to type something. I don't know what to type. Let's type uh, thank you or something of those sorts or happy birthday. I'm going to hit add text, throw it on here. I'm going to type happy birthday. Oh, not text happy birthday. Although you should text your friends happy birthday. Birthday. That does not spelled right. Let's go and tweak that real quick. That's not spelled right either. All right. And now we're going to tweak that font just a little bit. Something that, you know, m matches the vibe on this image. Something that looks a bit ridiculous. This looks kind of nice. Maybe we want some cursive. Yes, there you go. There's additional settings as well. Uh, let's see. Are there any other cursive options? Um, perfect. We're going to choose this one. And there you go. Within three seconds, we went ahead, or maybe not three seconds, but within a few minutes, we went ahead and created an all-out postcard using a landscape before, after. How cool is that? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. So leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.